Hi, I'm JJ Snyder, and you're watching Mingle Media TV's Red Carpet Report. Tonight, we're at a charity event for Walking with Anthony, a nonprofit organization that supports people with spinal cord injuries. How are you, folks? Good. Who are you with? I'm with Mingle Media TV. Good. Great. And we're here tonight to support you and Great. find out more about the foundation. Okay. We've done a tremendous amount of work in a short amount of time. Yes, we have. You too. What can you tell me about your journey? Well, our journey is that Anthony dove into the Miami waters two years ago and broke his neck. And since that happened, we were lucky to find a facility called Project Walk in Carlsbad, California. And Anthony has progressed tremendously. And we're lucky that we have the funds to get him where he is today, but it's a very expensive journey, takes a long time. So our mission is to change the perception of spinal cord injury uh, recovery, and we want to help as many people as we can get healthier, stronger, more independent, and many will walk again. Which is incredible. You're not only helping your son, but you're helping other people. First, let's talk, I'd love to talk to you about your journey a little bit. And, um, you know, where do I start? What have the last two years been like for you? Uh, it's been it's been tough, but uh, more or less a learning experience. Um, uh, just working hard and you know going at your goals and uh, you know it's it's not the end result it's the journey so um, you know you just got to keep keep grinding and keep working hard and uh, you know if, if something bad like a tragedy happens to you obviously look around something good can come out of it can you tell me about what phases you've gone through I mean um you are, John actually solely told me, you know, you're, you're an athlete, you're, you're on an athletic journey. And I know you must have a tremendous amount of determination. What was it like, uh, what was your first phase like after the injury? Uh, well, growing up I was an athlete and um, I was always determined to work hard and um, kind of go to the next level all the time. So when I got hurt, um, I had a mentality that was very tough um, and that mentality was never quit, don't give up, don't ever give up. And uh, it's, it's brought me a long way. I was a noodle when I first got hurt and uh, now I'm sitting here talking with you and it's pretty amazing that I'm able to have the opportunity to help other people. That's incredible. Um, you know, you almost make it sound easy. How do you handle, um, I mean, we all have negativity, but how, did, how do you handle those negative thoughts? Uh, you know what, I embrace them, you know, you're not going to be positive all the time. You're going to be negative, and you're going to take those negative thoughts and you're going to turn them into positivity. That's, I mean, my motto has always been prayer and positivity because that's basically how I intend to live my life. And you're a spiritual person as well. Prayer is... Yes. Yeah, yeah. I believe that um, you, need, you need some alone time in your life to just kind of set and think about stuff, and uh, I think that's very important because with this injury, not only are you hurt physically, but you're hurt emotionally as well. I'm seeing uh, quite a bit of movement from you right now. Tell me where you're at physically and what your goal is, say, uh, at this time next year. Um, well, when I got hurt, I was paralyzed. Well, I am paralyzed from my chest down, but I didn't have any sensation. I couldn't really like feel any, or I couldn't move anything. Um, my goal is to gain independence, and I think that's the main thing. But uh, of course, I'd like to walk again, but it's the little things that matter the most. Okay, great. Thank you so much. One last thing I'd love to ask you is, what would you like to say to other people out there who may have suffered a spinal cord injury, who maybe lack the resources, or who just don't know the limits to which they might be able to recover? Um, what I would say is just don't quit. Just keep working hard. Take the little goals, um, and that should, that should benefit you closer to the big goals. Thank you. And as his mother and as his supporter, um, what have been what have been some of the important things for you in terms of keeping your attitude positive? Well, my son is progressing every day. He's not dying of a terminal disease where I have to watch him get worse and worse. I've never been depressed. He has worked very hard. He's progressing. Um, every day I get more and more excited. Um, I'm very, very involved in the uh, SEI community now, and my goal is to help as many people get to where they are. When you ask Anthony the question, how has he progressed since the accident, he couldn't move, he couldn't stand. He now can press 150 pounds. He can stand by himself with no assistance on a walker. These are huge, tremendous progressions. They are, and can I, can I add, 
he was told that probably would never happen. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, and, and he is going to walk again. I can't wait for that day. Um, for, for people who may lack the resources, great. For people who may lack the resources um, to get the kind of therapy that Anthony has gotten, do you have any advice? Or any sources? Um, well, that's our foundation that we want to help people. My advice to them is to maybe hold some small fundraisers um, with friends and family just to kind of uh, gain some funds that way. This recovery is very expensive. It costs about $100,000 a year, and it takes years to get back on your feet. So. Again, it's a, 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 lot of, a lot of money and a lot of time. Thank you so much.